Good morning, my whomever the bloody fuck may concern. I'm your ugly self-proclaimed dead inside host, and today we will examine the case of Mr. Warrior, trying to pinpoint what exactly does he suffer from. We will analyze all his issues one by one in hopes of finding a solution. This is What's Wrong with Warrior? Warrior's main class mechanic is an adrenaline bar that fills up when you hit stuff, allowing you to periodically hit stuff harder. Is the amount of mechanical depth that can be expected from a pothole in northern Kazakhstan. Only decision making based around this mechanic is to burst now or later. And the answer is yes. There is no downside to using your burst, since there is nothing else you can do with adrenaline. Spending it all at every occasion is always correct choice, since there is no choice. You have only one option. Ranger got a separate entity as his class mechanic. Garden basically got three signets. Engineer gets a skill for every skill he equips, and the Mesmer fucking clones himself. Warrior's main class mechanic not only pales in comparison, it literally screams early access. In Guild Wars prophecies, bloody prophecies, Warrior had the same bloody adrenaline mechanic. However, there adrenaline used to fuel multiple abilities at once, making management of said resource and thinking on the fly necessary for optimal performance. I understand. That Guild Wars 1 and 2 are by design different games, but that doesn't excuse making Warrior's signature mechanic a straight downgrade from the previous title. Having a single burst skill in a world where Mesmer gets four mechanically similar buttons, in addition to cloning himself and his unbalanced bloody misunderstanding called Blur, sucks so much I don't need a vacuum cleaner. I just drop my misery on the floor and it instantly clears entire room. Furthermore, specific burst skills have additional impact on class's performance. Eviscerate, for example, doesn't benefit from quickness at all. Arcing Slice does damage based on enemies missing health, not adrenaline level. And Combustive Shot scales its duration, not the damage, based on adrenaline level. It can be a defining factor whether or not something is viable. For optimal usage of burst skill, Core Warrior needs to hit its target 30 times over 8 seconds, or 6.5 seconds in raid environment. Everything else is a DPS decrease. That's partially the reason for Berserker's success. Going from 30 to 10 is a significant decrease in difficulty for just maintaining optimal performance. Even before we count the fact that Berserker replaces all best skills with their objectively better versions. In my opinion, Warrior needs more ways to spend its class specific resource, more viable ways to generate said resource, and bigger resource storage. Base adrenaline could be increased to 5 bars, and free skill slot could be introduced. Using each of these would cost some adrenaline. Burst skill would spend up to 3 bars as always. Spellbreaker would store up to 3 bars and would have 5 skills in total. Berserker would be able to access those only outside of rage, making his biggest strength his biggest downside, as it is currently. Bladesworn, instead of spending flow to cast these, would gain stacks of spare ammo every time he hits with a dragon slash or uses skill that restores ammunition. Spare ammo would be used to cast these skills. I am not certain yet what range of skills Warrior could benefit from the most as a class. I have plenty of ideas, but I would rather refine them a little more and make separate video about it. I am certain though, that increasing amount of ways Warrior can spend adrenaline will be healthy for the class. After all, most of Warrior's problems relate or are direct consequences of him being an absolute brick wall. To me. Warrior's current class mechanic is as deep as a goldfish ball aquarium and looks like a bastard child of early access with all its not existing features. But in the end, it's all just an opinion. And everyone's allowed to have one. Crapface out.